Bro, probably one of the deadliest things in this room right here. Hey, dude. Uh, He's not even that big compared to mine now. now. Oh, all right, Alex, I'm showing everybody the inside of your house because I don't care. All right. We're doing really a tour. Really now, this is just oh, the first God, floor of my house. The first We're not floor. going upstairs, guys, or downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the bathroom or something before we bring her in. He likes the party for sure. What's up, B? Yeah, I wasn't gonna make a video today, but we're gonna make one anyways because that's what we gotta do. We're going over to Alex's after this, but today we were trying to make a video at the house. And uh, Shiva just got way worse today. She's had hip problems for a minute. I give her CBD and aspirin and all that stuff all the time to kind of help her with that and mask everything. But uh, yeah, today Brandon and I went to Home Depot, got back from Home Depot and Shiva was just like, she, every time she tries to stand up, she falls over and then her eyes are being all crazy and her head's tilting and she's just, her equilibrium is completely off and it's just been absolutely terrible. So we're over at my vet right now with her and they're running some blood work right now. So we're gonna hear back from them here shortly on that. Um, there's some old dog disease, which I'll, I'll put it down here below. It's some crazy word that I don't freaking remember. And uh, it's just really common in old dogs. She, she was almost 13 years old. And uh, you know, just things are happening right now. That's kind of out of my power. All sorts of things are happening right now. That's not in my, not in my power, which is unfortunate. We'll start this video off with a little Shiva update. We need all the prayers we can get right now. You see her eyes right now too? Like her head is really tilted and then her eyes are kind of just like really bugging out. Oh, it's just so freaking weird. So all of her blood work, thank God, came back negative just now. Everything, all her levels are good. Her kidney function or her liver function is only like two, two things off normal, which is not bad that they said for her age. And then they just gave her some anti-nausea medicine right now, and then they are about to give her the medicine for this uh, vesticular disease that she apparently has. Uh, hopefully she's gonna pull out of in the next few days. We're gonna go to the pet store after this. I'm gonna get her some wet food just to treat her and just spoil her for a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna go get a really big dog crate, put it in my house with a dog bed. So that way she's like nice and comfortable and can't walk around right now because she can't even, she can't even hold herself up. My poor sheepies. You sweet baby. I'm so sorry, my love. We're gonna help you out, okay? And then apparently, so once this is over and we have this disease treated and hopefully they said it'll, she'll pull out of it in the next couple of days, hopefully. Um, as far as her arthritis, she has severe arthritis, which is why I already give her gummies and aspirin yeah. daily. I guess there's this new vaccine shot. It's like not chemicals, it's all natural. They passed it over in the UK like four or five years ago and it hasn't been available in the United States until recently. And the, my vet was just telling me that they're seeing great improvements on the well being of the animals using that. So, you know, hopefully once she pulls out of this here, um, we're going to get her that medication also. So that'll really help with her hips and stuff. But the reason why she can't walk and the reason why she's falling over right now is because of this vesticular vista whatever it is down below this disease this old dog disease there you go baby i'm so sorry mama it's gonna be okay oh man all right so we're gonna go to the pet store i gotta go get all this medication that we have to give her you know thankfully it's not something super crazy it's still terrible man having your animals get old and just dealing with all this is just freaking tough among everything else that's going on right now 600 bucks later got everything written down right here about what's going on some detailed instructions about this medication and i got her some wet food too hey sweet mama let's go get you a crate and a new bed and set her up at the house since we're over in deerfield we're going to stop over at alex's house and just check that out and, and put that in the video too you know just a little day vlog for you guys even though not the greatest day vlog. Just keeping a rail over here. Look, we got our big dog bed and then a big old crate from Petco just now. So that way she can't walk around the house or walk around the patio or anything, you know, because her legs will just give right out. Even in the grass, she was falling over. Oh man, just wild. 
We're at Uncle Duff's house now. Got the truck running with the AC on there for Sheevy. Gonna make this a quick little visit while we're down here. I gotta pick up some snakes from Alex. The rusty also, so might as well show you guys his little snake room and all the other cool little things he's got. It's the police. Wow. All right, Alex, I'm showing everybody the inside of your house because I don't care. All right. We're doing really a tour. Good. Now, this is just oh, the first floor of my house. The first We're not floor. going upstairs, guys, or downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll explore this floor, okay, guys? Uh, at least this will cheer me up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, look, I got a lot of stickers on this. I need more stickers, dude. What's, what's with the, uh, what is this little safety contraption you got? This well, is like your second doorway. You got to walk just, over uh, this, this to get in there. This is just, uh, I was doing stuff. I said, almost said another word. I was doing stuff, so I had to move stuff. Now we can move stuff because I'm not doing stuff. All right, well, let's move stuff and no, do stuff. No, let's do All right. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, is this Dude, this is... this is my first time ever in here and seeing it. First time since I've actually had venomous snakes. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, I've usual, never, but... never seen nothing. What the heck is this thing? That's empty right now, but... Oh, this is empty? Live, but they're getting treated. Okay, getting treated? Treated. What's in here? Spencer's little... Oh yeah, Spence's little weird thing, whatever it is. Don't bring it up. What the heck is it? What, what is it? It's a plated lizard. It's pretty cool. It's like a cooler bearded dragon, but like we built this cage that's for like a fully grown croc monitor for a plated lizard. No way lizard. a croc monitor well, can actually, fit in I'm being, there. I'm being, I'm being dramatic because we built this big ass cage for a lizard that big that hides under this. And these are the there. cages that you got from Will Nace, right? Yeah, look at my wag right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey dude. She's a beaut. Oh yeah, you are very pretty. So he gave me these unplanted. The vermili these vermiliads were in here? No. Or no, you put the vermiliads He gave in me them unplanted. Wow, and they can't. So was this brighter when you got it? Yeah. Right. It's like turning green. Yeah, I know. That's what I've come to notice with the bromeliads. I put them in the enclosures and they kind of like lose the color because of the light yeah. spectrum. The snake plant cool. does well, you know, that other little thing in the back does well. And she's just a sweetheart. So that's the nice thing about her. Cool. Wasabi. What a lady she is. Oh, yeah. she is. She's an absolute asshole. There's a squam in here. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, oh, she's goodness. in the back. Oh, yeah, super oh. striky. Hey, listen, don't try to bite me. I just came to say hello to you, and you're going to be rude? It's not very nice. We don't like rude people. My tolerance for rudeness is gone. I'm moving cages around. Wow. Bro, probably one of the deadliest things in this room right here. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. North Florida corn. No anti venom, right? You shouldn't touch him. Now, he is. He's pretty chill, but he might give you a nip. Careful. Oh, fuck. Dude, no free handling in my snake room, dude. Whoa. No free handling in my snake room. Yeah, I didn't even use room. a hook or anything. I just reached right in there and grabbed him. Can you mm. believe that that snake is... I think it has dwarfism, because I got it when I was eight years old. And I'm, Stop. I'm You've had the snake for that long? Yeah. I'm about to be 25 next month. Crazy. And he is maybe four feet long. Maybe four feet long. He's pretty, though. Yeah, he's a real gem. Named George after my grandpa. Hell of a guy. Hell of a guy. <laughs> Hell of a guy. Was that the, uh, was that the grandpa that was friends with Tommy? Mm hmm I got a picture of him out there you'll love. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Green insulators in there. Yeah, these money trees are sweet. Look, we got a little blue guy in there. Bluey. And then there's a little green. Oh, yeah, that's bluey, huh? Bluey and greeny, bro. Bluey and greeny. Try not to be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're so good at coming up with names, bro. Well, when you have eight concussions at 24 years old, sometimes big words are difficult and new words are difficult. So <laughs> I uh, left it pretty simple with that one. Oh, my God. But the green the green was huge now, bro. Like, yeah, no, they're good size. But the blue is still, I sometimes have to force feed her, but... The heck is in here? Oh, we got this little squam in here. I love your uh, your labels. Yeah, Stone did those for me. Oh, wow. Well, I did those. Stone did those. Terrible handwriting. Mm -hmm. Stone wants me to teach him how to tattoo, and the dude can't even write. Mm -hmm. well, we're gonna have to get so on with that. Right all right, so since Spencer likes to come over and harass all my animals, I'm gonna come here and harass his animals. I'm just kidding, I would never harass any animals. Oh, dude, you just went back under there. Oh, go. oh my goodness. All right, so I'm not doing that. Where are you, dude? Oh, my goodness. I got him. <laughs> First try. Definitely not. He's cool though. Like once he's out, like he'll sit on my computer for hours and hours, and I'll edit a video, no problem. But in the cage, boy, he's a little lunatic. Yeah, you don't like it. He's like fine it now. Good. Yeah, he accepts his fate. He just is. Uh, it's tough to get him to that point. Interesting. It's a cute little dude though. Yeah, he's getting big too. Pretty cool. I'll let you go back to sleeping, dude. So this is the most dangerous snake in Alex's room. Of course, I have to mess with him. He's a real chimp. Yeah, he likes to he likes to party for sure. 
Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. Did you get me? Yeah. You got me? Yes. It's <laughs> not that funny. Your belly laughing over here. He usually doesn't do that, bro. God, you're a turn. Come on, bro. <laughs> Classic snake. Once he's out, he's pretty good. Look at that. Dude, that was hilarious. You're back to being chill. Look at that. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> That's crazy. That was one of the crazier... Uh, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He got me. Dude, that was... Yeah, he's, I'm oh my goodness. Bro, we're friends now. I already got you out. Relax. Don't go biting me. Absolute tank. But you see what I did, guys? Go under. Under, and scoop out, even with his mouth wide open and hissing at me. You gotta finesse. Finesse, finesse. So it's the name of the game. Just being defensive. That's it. You see his little fur guy right there, too? See that little? Right in between his eyes? Bro, relax. I'll put you back. Well, that was fun. The weirdest thing in here is right up there. Why is this here, Alex? Uh. It's uh, self-defense in case any of my snakes misbehave, you know, in case anyone breaks in. Second Amendment right to carry a butter knife in my own snake room. You guys better watch out. Yeah. Alex is ready to roll it. Ooh, and then we got the backyard. Dude, this fence, man. Yes, sir. I gotta it's, cut this tree down. This is beautiful. Room yeah, rooms. you're uh, you're real close to there. We're about, we're about two months from free mangoes for dude, all Dude, this boys. thing. Dude, who built this? Who do you think built that? You built this? Shit, no. Who? Spencer built that. Wow. I pay for it. He built it. Good job, Spence. Well, I, I like to take partial credit because I screwed some it's of them. It's pretty cool. Is there spray insulation on the inside? Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. This is winterized home, and now it's just his... And then, what, you got a heat light up top? Yeah. But now I don't need it. And he's digging another damn hole, so... I got right sulcatas at my house today laying eggs. Really? Yeah. Monitor Whole food? Bunch. Or are you going to... No, it? monitor food. Yeah, I'm yeah, not hatching I'm those things say. out. Not hatching them. Yeah, the world doesn't need more sulcata tortoises, and it's the number one rehomed animal. There's no sense in, you know, people buy them for their kids. They get gigantic. They can't take oh, care of them right? anymore. They freaking, they mess up their yard. They do all sorts of things. It's just not worth it. This is that cage that I built Alex a while ago. You guys remember this? The indoor-outdoor enclosure. That's his little guest room. He can open up the open up the window in there and access all this stuff right here. Pretty freaking cool, dude. Oh, wow. Oh. What's up, Bobby? Uh, How you doing, dog? You're a big guy. Hey, dude. How you doing? He's not even that big compared to mine now. He's probably about the same size as Martin. I think I think you and Martin are about the same. Getting a nana. A little bit smaller than the one that's laying next to him. Yeah, he's a little. Yeah, I mean, like, the uh, one that's laying next to him is a little, probably a little bit that, bigger than name? him. Penny. Penny, what are you Thanks. doing, Penny? That's not for you. That's for Bob. Move. We'll give you a banana later, okay? Lady in the tramp, but it's Penny and Bob. <laughs> Back up, bad girl. Go, dude. Yum yum. Everybody's favorite on Alex's channel is Mr. Bob right here. They've been they've been missing him lately. Penny, can you just? <laughs> this is the thing, guys. This is why you have to beat your dog. Penny. Apparently. Hey, nobody's Penny. beating you, okay? Just iguanas and you sweet tails. girl. Quick little uh, quick little trip over here. Yadi, Yadi. Love you guys. Right, no Time to bring my princess home. We can just go through here. Yeah, yeah you're good. All right, let's go get shit. Penny. Penny. Shut your mouth. I'll see y'all. When I see y'all, I'll see you in the keys. Yeah. Randy's yeah. wedding is this week. So. Shut up. You look like uh, the guy from Home Improvement right now. Back in the wagon. Let's go set up Sheba's crate in her bed. And we are back. I'm gonna grab this new kennel for Sheev out the truck. We're gonna get set up in my house. So that way she's nice and safe and can't like walk around and you know. I went and got like a dog pad too. So that way, you know, cause if we put towels there on her blanket, it's gonna move and then this is kind of slippery, the plastic. I don't want her feet coming out from under her. The equilibrium's all messed up right now. 
But uh, yeah, we're gonna just bring this baby inside, set it up while she just chills in the truck because I don't want her to move very much. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably pick her up out of my truck and bring her in the house. So let's get this done. So we got that set up. Got hair all over daddy's truck. Mm. <sighs> let's see if you wanna go potty, okay? Come in. It's okay. Let's try to get up. I wanna see if she's gonna go to the bathroom or something before we bring her in. Get the hell out of here, dude. You can see she can barely walk. The upside to this is that this old dog disease. I just got off the phone with Eric. Eric was saying that, Eric that works for me, my buddy, he was saying that his wife's mom's dog had the same thing. And it goes away in a couple of days. But then obviously she still has a lot of arthritis pain right now, which is what we're gonna treat also very soon. But she's gotta get over this first. And then once this little hurdle is over, we're gonna bring her back to Pablo's, the vet, and she's gonna get a shot that's gonna help deaden her pain receptors for the arthritis, and that'll help her at least be more comfortable. See the sideways head tilt? It's part of the whole thing. That's why her equilibrium is off right now. She can't really walk. Wanna go potty, baby? Please, go potty. Go potty, go potty. dogs freaking live longer man she's my baby dude she's been around forever since my freaking one of my first apartments she's been through hell and back with me man like she's been through everything dude my OG baby oh this breaks my heart i mean i wanted to see if she was gonna go to the bathroom blue i swear to god dude it'll be dinner <sighs> all right i'm gonna have to pick her up again i should have clipped her nails at the vet and just haven't been wanting to do that because she's just so uncomfortable you want to try to go potty <laughs> baby oh god this is terrible lay down mama lay down baby please lay down i'm gonna leave her in here let her let her relax and lay down hopefully i'm gonna go grab some blankets for her and yeah Freaking keep me in your prayers, guys. It's just absolutely crazy right now. Everybody keeps asking about Shiva, so this is the update, you know? Everybody always asks in the videos how she's doing. It's unfortunate. So she's almost 13 years old, you know? It's old dog syndrome, disease, crap. Ah, it's wild, but it looks like it's, it was raining here a little bit, and it's subsided for a while. But I got a bunch of other stuff that I gotta do. I got a lot of things going on this week. I have so many freaking supporters and I'm so blessed to have such an just awesome group of friends and awesome you guys like you've you've watched it me over the years guys like you guys have seen everything the ups the downs the this the that because that's what I like that's why I started watching people on YouTube because it's, it's just it's not like TV TV's fake and all this other crap and everybody on TV is like oh their life is so amazing and blah 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 don't get me wrong life is amazing I love my life. I've worked really hard to get to where I'm at. Nobody's gonna take that from me. But even when you, things are great, dude, you gotta just keep focusing on like all the positive things in your life. And you know, just know that, you know, everything does happen for a reason. And you just gotta keep on pushing on and just keep your head on straight because when you lose your mind and you lose your cool and you do this and that and the other thing, nothing good ever comes from any of that. You just stress yourself out, out even more and then things get worse, you know? You gotta, gotta keep it together. Having a tattoo every day and draw for my clients and wake up in the morning and have to take care of my farm and make videos for you guys so that way I can pay my bills, which are astronomical right now. I have no choice. That's it, I'm not gonna continue to ramble on with you guys and Vince and all that. And yeah, I don't even know what else to say Just besides myself. I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless. In order to appreciate the mountaintops, you gotta see what the valleys are like, just how it goes. And God sends his toughest warriors into battle. Remember that too. Everything happens for a reason and everything will work out. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. I got faith, man. God, God has something way better in store for me. He does. I don't even, I don't deserve it. Nobody deserves it. None of us deserve anything. You know, everything is because of God's grace. And you have to have faith that he is going to show up and be there for you. And he does. Obviously, he doesn't talk to you. But like little signs and little things that you see and feelings and 
dreams. It's all for something. There's definitely way more to life than just this life here on Earth. And, you know, you just gotta make the best of this and good will come from it. So, again, goodbye. I love you guys. I'm out. Pray for Shivi. Pray for me. All my beautiful creatures on this property. I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Like, look. Look at this. Blessed. So...